Masters, mistresses, the doctor requires materials in order to maintain the TARDIS and ensure continued functionality. He similarly requires carbon-based comestibles to sustain his own biological functions and existence. Master would never say this, but he requires aid beyond that supplied by this unit in order to acquire these. To aid the doctor in his various tasks and creations, this can be most effectively achieved via Patreon or Substack subscriptions, or through donations directly to PayPal, or if you desire physical goods in return for your contributions, written accounts of my travels with the Doctor are also available on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Thank you, Masters, Mistresses. Hi. Dr. Alex here and welcome to another short little video testing some of my computer hardware. This was inspired by the last video I made where I compared the ThinkPad Edge 15 with the Generation 1 Intel i7-640M processor against my everyday workhorse of the T420 ThinkPad with its Generation 2 Intel i7-2860QM quad-core processor and a little bit of information I left hanging in that video. Yes, I recently upgraded the T420 from an i7-2760QM to an i7-2860QM processor. A relatively small upgrade, but one I decided to do just because I was on the path to maxing out all of my ThinkPads, at least within the confines of sensible heat stresses. Now, this meant I had a spare i7 to 760QM, which I then put into the very cheap T520 I bought just for fun, uh, for very little money off eBay. I think it was under £30 it cost me off eBay, and it had everything working. Oh, except for a webcam. It didn't have a webcam, the T520, but then I think many corporate machines often have the webcams removed for or are ordered without webcams for security reasons. And I just bought a webcam for under £5 off eBay and I've shoved it in there. And so now it even has the webcam that it was missing before. So my cheap play around T520 is now maxed out and now has a webcam. And it's a very nice little uh, laptop um, alongside my workhorse T420 we've got there with the very slightly higher spec i7-2860QM CPU. Both of them are quad-core, both are very fast, but one is slightly faster than the other, but perhaps not as much as you might think. The i7-2860QM is not really significantly faster than the i7-2760QM, spoilers. But the reason I mention this is because the reason I went for the i 7 to 7060QM in the first place was that it was significantly cheaper, even two, three years ago when I bought it, than the next one up, the 2860QM. At the time, the 2760QM was about £40, £45 off eBay, and that was two, three years ago, whereas the i7-2860QM was about double that um, even then. And even now, it's the same. The i7-2860QM that I bought was just under £70, and that was the cheapest I could find, whereas the i7 to 760QM you can get for about 30 35 pounds on eBay or just under 35 pounds on eBay so again about half the price but is it half the performance I didn't think so at the time and now having tested them side by side uh, spoilers again I don't think it is half the performance so if you're wanting processor bang for buck I probably would stick with an i7 to 760QM and not bother paying the double the amount for an i7-2860QM. Not that I'm going to throw it away, it is still a little bit faster. Let's run the CPU tests and see what I actually mean. So obviously, as with last time, we're going to start with CPU Blowfish and my arm will probably get into shot again. Go. I should probably have mentioned that they're both maxed out in terms of RAM. They both have 16 gigabytes of RAM. They both have solid state drives in them. The T520 only has one terabyte um, SSD in it, whereas the T420 has a two terabyte SSD. But other than that, they are virtually identical internally in terms of their memory, their drives, um, and now their processors. Now, this is what I mean. I've just run the test, and the results are in seconds. Lower is better. The T420, with its slightly higher spec processor, has come out with a 2.17 seconds result, whereas the T520, with its slightly lower spec i7 
2760QM processor has come out with 1.85 seconds. So the older lower spec, or the lower spec processor actually came out slightly faster. I feel robbed. Anyway, let's try the next um, test, which is CPU crypto hash. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this is megabits per second. Obviously higher is better. The i7 2860QM has come out with 652.88, whereas the i7 2760QM has come out with 698.28. So it has today slightly outperformed the marginally better one that it's supposed to be inferior to so as i say bang for buck i would go for the cheaper one in future if i ever needed to buy another quad core processor for another machine just because it's faster for many tests or often it comes out faster let's do the next one cpu fibonacci go. again for cpu fibonacci the results in seconds lower is better for my T420 running the slightly higher spec processor, it's come out at 58.08 seconds. The T520 with the slightly lower spec processor has come out with 58.08. So in this test, they are absolutely inseparable. They are identical. So again, still no clear win for the i7-2860QM. Well, let's see what happens with the later ones. CPU N Queens is next. Okay, for CPU N Queens, the T420 managed 0.59 seconds, results in seconds low is better, and the T520, 0.60 seconds the, for the first time, and I think I know why. The CPU N Queens test has shown that the i7 2860QM is moderately faster than the i7 to 760QM, and I'm pretty sure that's because the N Queens test is testing one thread on each machine. I'm guessing, but I think that's the case. And yes, the individual threads on the 2860QM are very slightly faster than the 2760QM. As you can see on this spec sheet, which I should have shown up before, they are very close in specs, but there is a like 0.1 gigahertz difference between their their normal operating frequency. But yeah first victory for the i7-2860QM and it's hardly amazing but yeah it has come out faster. Let's try CPU FFT. Okay, okay the T420 came out with 0.99 seconds and again lower is better and the T520 has come out with 1.01 seconds so yay a second victory finally for the i7-2860QM over the i7-2760QM. Again, not exactly massive, but there is a slight improvement for the 2860QM over the 2760QM, but minuscule. And let's try the last test, I think, FPU ray tracing for both of them. Go. Okay, for FPU ray tracing, they both came out with the same score, 161.31 seconds. So there's nothing between them. There's no difference there at all between the two processors. So that was all the tests. I think my parting comment on this is if you've got money sloshing around for a quad core second generation i7 processor that will go in your machine, I would buy an i7 2760QM any day over an i7 280QM because the gains are minimal and in some cases non-existent it would appear and yet the price difference is half price one compared to the other the i7 2760 qm is half the price of an i7 280 qm and yet the performance is virtually identical so there you go i hope this was useful it was certainly a fun little thing to do and uh, i will maybe do another technical one later on if i have a reason but so far all my laptops are almost fully upgraded. Actually, the Edge 15 has a couple more experiments to have done to it, but that might be another video for the future. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed this. To all my listeners and watchers, until the next video, take care.